everybody and welcome to the crunch or should we say welcome to the crunch debates that's right guys we have our debates on today and the topic of the day is genetically modified foods now i don't know if you're aware of this but nigeria is contemplating having these seeds imported into the country some of them for higher yield greater resistance to pests whatever the reason might be there are many people who think it is a very bad idea and this solution might actually turn out to be a big problem now we have two fire brands in the house that are all primed and ready to battle this thing down to the ground but before then i need to share with you our winner according to you of our last debates So guys, let me give you an idea of the setup in case you didn't watch it two weeks ago. We have somebody from the Debate Academy and we have an everyday person who has decided to test her debating skills. They're going to argue for and against the motion. They'll tell you which side they're arguing on and I'm going to let them introduce themselves so that you know basically what they're about. Now, they each get two minutes in the initial round and then when we come back, they get another two minutes to either rebut their opponent's point or solidify their point and then after that, they get a final no minute for like a conclusion to land their arguments properly so are you guys good with the rules yes. any questions all right I'm going to let you introduce yourselves why don't you go ahead and start first um, my name is Jennifer Uchendu and I'm the founder of Susti Vibes and also a sustainability analyst basically Susti Vibes is a youth-based organization we're involved in implementation of sustainability projects and awareness for Nigeria and Africa basically yeah. oh, you look very chill though I hope you're ready to fight. Are we fight? <laughs> <laughs> Are we fight? <laughs> you might. You never know. It might come down to that. Yeah. And you? All right. My name is Temi Loluwa Awobiogbo. I like to call myself a talk service provider. That sounds very fancy, right? But simply put, public speaker, MC, master ceremonies, voice of artist, freelance TV host, public speaker and communication skills trainer. I was in the debater season one. Guys, I had the, I don't know whether it was a misfortune to go up against him when we did a debate on the child nor bride issue. It was a battle. It was a battle. It was, he was a worthy opponent. So yeah. that's why I'm telling you, you have to fight. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I'm going to step out. Jennifer, who's going first? Um, he should go first. He should go first. Yeah, he has no All right. Time. So you have two minutes and your two minutes start now. Allow me to jog your memory a little bit. Do you remember the name Tuta Absoluta? Does it sound familiar? Does it ring a bell? Just in case that name does not ring a bell, that name was synonymous with destruction. I'm very sure that you remember several months ago when you went to the market to discover that four big round tomatoes were on sale for 500 naira. That was the result of the havoc that was wrought by Tuta Absoluta across tomato farmlands all over Nigeria. Now, imagine a situation in which GMOs, genetically modified organisms, had been introduced. What would have been the result? Pest-resistant tomatoes. Interestingly, as of today, the population of Nigeria stands at 180 million people. According to a World Population Prospect Report released in the year 2013 by the United Nations, it is estimated that the population of Nigeria will surpass that of the United States of America come year 2050. Now, assuming that in the year 2050, Nigeria has a population of 397 million people, pray, where will we get the food to feed all that number? Interestingly, it has been scientifically proven that GMOs provide high yield, provide nutritional benefits, and of course, reduce consumption of natural resources. Finally, we are in the 21st century. We cannot afford to leave us, though we're still in the 15th century. All over the world, we get to celebrate advancements in technology. 10 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, GMOs represent a breakthrough in technology. And it is only wise and in our best interests to embrace them. Thank, Thank you. you. Jennifer, your two minutes start now. 
I'm not your popular debater. I'm just Jennifer Uchendu, an ecofeminist who believes in the right thing. GMOs, genetically modified organisms, what are they? They are items, organisms that are genetically engineered. We don't know what they put. They never tell us, you know. It's funny because as Africans, we always like to take whatever they bring in from the West. And probably that's why we are where we are. As an ecofeminist, I'm standing to Nigerians and telling you, GMOs are not good for us. Why are GMOs not good for us? According to the International Institute of Responsible Technology, they said that GMOs cost, and they made animals sterile, they made animals dead, and they couldn't, they couldn't ascertain what is actually costing it. I'm thinking five years, I'll probably be married, I'll have children, I'll go to the store and I'll buy something for them. I wouldn't know whether there's GMO in it or not. I wouldn't know what it is inside. I wouldn't know whether it's safe or not. My, my argument today is we don't even know what's inside our food. We don't want to eat just anything. Can they tell us what these GMOs are? What did you put inside? You want a pest resistant crop. Has it worked? Ask Mozambique. Tell, ask them what they did with cotton. It didn't work. Mozambique had, um, they had gold and they had cotton as their two revenue makers. It plummeted, it didn't work for them. Ask Kenya, they keep crying on social media. We don't want Monsanto's That's products. Ask, um, ask um, Russia, ask different countries, ask even America. They've been banning these products here and there. Why do we want to bring them? My good friend told me that Africa is not poor. Africa is impoverished. Why? Because they keep bringing these different things to us. We, need, we have an agricultural problem. Why don't we sort it out? Why are we looking for the easy way out? I'm calling on government, I'm calling on people. Let's say no to GMOs. Let's ask what our real problems are and let's sort it out from the inside. Time up. Two very, very powerful initial arguments. We are going to take a quick break. When we come back, let's see what the rebuttals will sound like.